time to play with the toy. And with that, he gives me a big head bob. I wasn't expecting that amount of throttle. Kevin chose this car because he wanted something to take to conventions and to trade shows, and he wanted an open frame car that made it easy to point to the components and talk about the various things that go into making this car. And if you haven't had a chance to see part one through three, I recommend you go over there and uh, take a look. It talks more about, about all the things that went into this build. Now, Kevin's only drove this car about 40 miles. Uh, I think it's mostly just test drives. He He's only hit the throttle once. He did a 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds. So we're going to go out there and try and see if we can beat that today. Okay, here we reset the draggy tool. It's a GPS little component that uh, allows you to get your drag times. And that's a lot of tire spin. <laughs> It's hard when you only can use, I guess, a quarter throttle on it. 4.4 seconds, wow. That's 0.2 seconds quicker. That's as fast as my Goblin, the supercharged one, has ever gone with two people in it. Impressive. And the second pull here, he got a little sideways, too much tire spin, so he got out of the throttle. Okay, so this pull, no tire squeal. Four point one seconds. That's as fast as I've ever gone with me solo in my supercharged goblin. A little bit of tire squeal, not bad though. Three point six nine. Three point three nine. Wow. And this one here, you got a little sideways on it. Now later on our drive home, uh, my GPS decided to sync with the the skies, so my camera started recording the speeds and the G forces. But I would have really liked to have it earlier when we were doing the hard pulls. But I didn't know it would take eight minutes to sink. He did uh, hit the brakes here once and get a 1G stop out of it momentarily, but he's not really trying anymore. Now when we come in the driveway here, there's a Tesla Model 3 on the left, a white one. And uh, Kevin's going to give me a ride so I can head on back home. I've never been in a Model 3, so I quite enjoy this little ride. records there. Uh, what did we get? A 3.4? 3. 3.3? Yeah. To the little rocket Should ship. Should it tell us? Yeah, it will. It'll have them all. It really comes down to how well can you feather that throttle because the back end will scoot it. At any point during that 0 to 60, I think you could have got carried away. And did you, did you, uh, did you I, on one of them, I went all over the road. Oh yeah, I'm going to record your little toy here too because I've never been in a 3 before. This one is the fastest Model 3. Okay. So I, my friend uh, has a Model 3 Performance Edition. He wanted to do drag racing. Let's go to the drags here in Tucson. Well, that, so that's Model 3 Performance versus Model 3 Performance? Yeah, I, I, you know, <laughs> I knew that if I changed my wheels to lighter wheels uh -huh. and smaller diameter, I can go accelerate quicker. So, <laughs> so I got new wheels and tires. <laughs> you want to feel. Went to the track. <laughs> At least by, I did an 11, 35, I did 11.3. Okay. So I did 11.36, so I beat him by 0.06 seconds. <laughs> the Tucson turns out to be really good for EVs because of the altitude, the density altitude is such that it's less drag through the 
Oh, okay. Yeah. So you get better numbers. The, yeah, we don't care about the cold air for, for uh, the engine. Right, the right. Engine, but we care about punching through it. <laughs> as least drag as possible. And Tucson, all the records are here. If you look at the, the drag times, it's called, look at a Model 3 Performance Edition. Uh -huh. All the times are Tucson. Okay. Have you posted your Model 3 since you... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. number one on the list. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, you modified the wheel so you could get up a little higher on the list. The guy from Drag Times has a Model 3 performance. He's like, I'm going to get new wheels and tires. <laughs> that helps, but it's too slow. Yeah. I've been learning to tune my engine. And I, I had the thing running just as good as new sort of a deal um, during the summer and winter time I took out my draggy and I was trying to get some times and it, it is terrible okay. and I look at my air fuel and I'm running rich as can be and I'm like this thing was tuned perfectly what's happened yeah. have I lost a sensor or something so I pull the codes and and then I start looking at it, it's like oh winter denser air I'm going further down the chart than I ever have before it's never been tuned to run up the, the, these uh, air densities so, so. I, I am the stock GM controller, but HP Tuners uh, hacked it, uh, so you can uh, now modify those numbers. And the Goblin, I mean, Lonnie sells it with a, a really short intake, a really short exhaust that's been opened up. So it and off, yeah. it does. It, it didn't run as well as it was designed. Like, it, the Chevy programming isn't quite right anymore for that car. I was out 15% in areas, and that's a, quite a ways to be out for... <laughs> Yeah. Now this thing will have traction control. It might right. give your your other car a run yeah, for yeah, the money. Yeah, this was in the 3.09 on the dragon. Yeah. yeah. And it's repeatable. Right. Which your car right now you're having to yeah, exactly. get comfortable with it and yeah, get to that point. It also be you, you'd, just the sense of racing to the other car. You'd want to get on it harder than you should, or you do. You has to take the right patience not to. Yeah. To just blow the tires off trying to beat some. Well, and I wonder, with your access to the motor controller and stuff, you might be able to start doing, you know, play with uh, threshold yeah, throttle well, control. Be beautiful if I could do it also speed related. I don't see that. There. Okay. That would be nice, you know, just let it keep it low on the launch and then yep. increase it as you're getting better traction. You know, yeah. Dynamically assign the power. Yeah. Yeah, that would make it a lot more repeatable. I mean, that's basic traction control but it, it would yeah. your car is just a it's raw driver control and and to be honest uh, even my cars to a certain extent it's a driver's car right you know it's not going to do things for you this car you can tell how heavy it is when you brake okay I mean, it just takes a lot of i was kind of shocked by the drag strip you know, you're like doing 120 at the end and you just hit the brakes like this thing is not it's requiring more braking than you would think. You know, yeah. To break you. Well, and and you Teslas know. are are not known to have great brakes. Yeah. yeah they, I mean, to be honest, most stock cars. You take a Camaro to a racetrack, it doesn't take three laps, and the brakes are overheating. Okay. They're just not made for that amount of abuse. Right. <laughs> okay, that's the end of my ride. So Kevin's going to be dropping me off here shortly. I did follow up uh, on the draggy tool, looked up the fastest Model 3, and sure enough, it's Kevin. It was really great to ride with Kevin and have a chance to play both of his toys.